Welcome back to another episode of Check Out <laughs> This <laughs> Home. And I'm very excited for today's video because we are at Benji Plant's house in Los Angeles. You might know Benji Plant, but if you don't, he's a YouTuber in the interior design space, but he has a focus on plants and aquariums and terrariums and bringing the outdoors inside, but in a way that I really love because if you watch my channel, you know I don't love an overabundance of plants, but now I'm very inspired. But not only does he have good taste in, I don't know what that would be called, plant horticulture? <laughs> He also has great taste in interior design. It's very simple, it's clean, and it's very well curated. And maybe he'll make a little appearance. We just don't know. We just play it by ear, all right? So uh, let's go into Benji Plant's home and we'll start in the kitchen. And it's, it's this is one of my favorite spots. So, uh, all right, here we go. These are cool. Where are these from? The curtain or the yeah. The curtain's from Etsy. It's this is? Really cheap. It's yeah. so pretty. Here's Benji. Hi, I'm Benji. <laughs> um, they probably can't hear you. Yeah, you might need to unplug. <laughs> He's been helping me with my audio. So what do I have to do? So you unplug the mic part from here and then we can just hold it. Oh, I see, I see. I know absolutely nothing about sound, and Benji has been helping me with sound, and... I see the comments about, <laughs> about Paige's sound, so. <laughs> He said he had bad sound, too, mm. and then... Now people say I have great sound, so... And I'm basically using his system. I also forgot my tripod, so I'm using his tripod. <laughs> I'm very prepared and very professional. I'm assuming our audiences overlap Yeah, I think somewhat. a little because when I said... Yeah. If you're going to do the tour, people are like, oh, yay. Yeah, my name is Benji. I live here with my boyfriend, Chris, and my dog, Theo. This is oh, Theo. so cute. I'm holding him because otherwise he'd jump on page. So, <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys like my place. Um, They're going to love it. Feel free to say anything you want. Um, yeah. <laughs> feel free to roast. There's actually nothing to roast. I really love his style and furniture selections. And this house is just kind of incredible. A very unique spot to find. Mm-hmm. Um, on apartments.com. Yeah, apartments.com. Who knew? I've been looking on like hot pads, which I guess I don't is... even know what that is. You don't know hot pads? Oh, well. Um, all right, I'm gonna take him on the tour. Should I plug this back in now? Yeah, I'll plug it back in. And I'll restart to be safe. As you enter the front door, you go right into this little dining area and the kitchen, which I love the kitchen. This whole place kind of feels like you're in a little tree house of some sort. And the architecture, again, which you'll see throughout the video, just makes it feel a lot different than a lot of the Spanish homes here in LA. This almost feels kind of like Frank Lloyd Wright. I don't know, I don't know exactly. You tell me in the comments what this is. Yes, here's his little dining area. He replaced the light fixture and you'll see a few light fixtures that he's replaced throughout the play throughout the house. Um, his dad knows how to switch out light fixtures. Is he an electrician or he just knows how to do that? He's been an electrician for like 40 years. He's been an electrician for 40 years. So he's got the hookup. But <laughs> I guess if you, yeah, you could just use TaskRabbit or you could learn it yourself. I've, I've uh, dabbled in YouTube trying to figure out how to replace a light. I like how he has this mid-century unit back here because um, you'll see as we go through the tour, he mixes styles really nicely. And I don't feel like he has a ton of that type of mid-century pieces. So I think it, it fits nice. And I like how it's kind of smaller and he has the two art pieces right next to it. 
good frames, good matting, you know, all of the above. So let me bring you in closer so we can talk about uh, the dining table. Benji said he found this table off of Facebook Marketplace, but it is by some designer. What were you saying, like Arlo or I forget what you, Alto? I don't know, we'll write it, we'll write it right here. Um, and then he got these at Pop-Up Home, which is a really good vintage spot here in, in Los Angeles. And he said they were on, on massive sale. And I really like the pop of red. Also, I feel like these are more of like a, like the style of them is different than, like you wouldn't think to pair that with this type of table. I feel like a lot of people would do like a similar style. And I like how you mixed it. You do good at mixing. That's like a constant thing. I'm like, you have to mix. You have to mix styles. Oh, and then these curtains. I really love the texture of these curtains. And they're from Etsy. So uh, again, we will link as much as we can, as much as Benji's willing to give away his top secrets. Over here is a little entry nook. And this table fits pretty perfectly and good storage. I feel like it's always necessary to have some good storage, especially right when you walk in. And then this is a aquar aqua aquarium, not a tranium, I guess. A tranium doesn't have water, right? Okay. Aquarium and are there little fishies in here? They're shrimp. They're shrimp. <laughs> Can you see them? Do you have to feed them or do they? They just eat the algae that's in the aquarium, so I don't feed them anything. What's in, the, what is this thing? So it's called a dua terra base. It's a clay fluted vase that you put water in and then it kind of seeps out so you can keep plants and moss alive on it. And then this is a Noguchi, or is this a Noguchi? Yeah, I love it. I love that. I love, um, it's like different than a, like orange in design. Like it's different. Orange. Yeah, it's cool. You'll see a lot of these hanging plants throughout his house. He just told me they're called staghorn ferns, which I feel like I did know that, but I do like how they're kind of mounted like a deer head, <laughs> basically. Do you just have to spritz these? No, you soak them in water. So you can soak it with water or you can like water from the top and then let the moss um, absorb all the moisture. Wow. I would never be able to take care yeah, of this one. You have to kind of know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This kitchen is one of the coolest kitchens that I've been in in Los Angeles. It is a dome, basically. And they kept all of the original tile. And I just, it's so fun that he has this many windows. If I had this many windows in my kitchen, I think I would spend a lot more time in, in my kitchen cooking or learning to cook. Right when I walked in, I immediately freaked out. And then there's just like a little yard. I like what he's done with the kitchen. I think there's not much that needed to be done because it already is such a cool shape and the tile is great. And he kind of just, you know, this is a pegboard, which is interesting. He was asking me what, what I would do if I had anything I could do different to the kitchen, but I don't, I, I don't really see anything necessary besides like maybe utilizing the pegboard a little more. You could put up some fun like cooking utensils. I don't know, that's always nice when you move into a place that you're renting to have a room that you basically don't have to do much to because it's already good in itself. This view feels like it's out of a film. Do you just stand in here and hang out sometimes? Because this is so awesome. You'll play music and cook. It's so good in here. You're gonna redo all this, plants and stuff. Oh, that's fun. Are you in a whole video on it, I'm assuming? <laughs> This is his old ass stove, <laughs> but it's so good. It's an O'Keefe, O'Keefe and Merritt. Oh yeah, I can see the name now. And the ovens are like this too, but I love when landlords keep things like this. And look, there's one of these things that you can make um, bacon on. 
Um, and I really like his little piece of art that he put up here. And um, yeah, just ideal. Just ideal to have all this old stuff. In my eyes, at least, it is very ideal. While it's such a nice updated, or not updated, this is a nicely preserved kitchen with the tile and the appliances, but I do call this flooring the landlord special where they just kind of put in like a faux Spanish tile. So while it's not terrible, um, it's not ideal. But you know, we don't have to show that. You know someone is doing design right when they have a kitchen lamp. And I like how this is a kind of like a country styled little lamp, which is just different than, you know, a Noguchi. Noguchi? Noguchi? And um, again, mixing it up, adding in like a little touch of a design that you wouldn't really see throughout the rest of the, ho the house, the home. Um, and then I love this red piece of art. He said he painted the frame against this black wall, just adding in something fun. And he's a prop stylist with a branch in a, in a vase. He is prop styling. If you watch Benji's channel or follow him on Instagram, I guess, this is kind of the showstopper room, I would say, at least. Or I think that's how I found him. I think I found him on Instagram before YouTube because I was very inspired by his um, giant bookshelf back here, which I was just complimenting him on because I feel like a lot of people, when you get a giant bookshelf, they'll either do an all white one or they'll get a more mid-century looking one like mine. But I wouldn't, I don't even know what style to describe this bookshelf as. It almost feels like it's something that you would have, like your grandfather would have. <laughs> He found it at an, an estate sale, he says. And having a full shelving unit is uh, always ideal. I think it just makes a space look more established or put together. I really, I really, now I want that shelving unit. Everything, everything you have, I'm just like, I want that now also. He has a lot of interesting things on this bookshelf. One being um, a terrarium. Yes. Did it? Is it just moss or? So I shaped it with rocks and soil. So I created like a mountain landscape and then I cut the moss up, I placed the moss down and it's grown ever since. I don't do anything to it. I just spray it like once every two weeks. Yeah. Or something. Wow. I know nothing, but now I feel like I should have you come into my house and like give me a few things. Would you do that? You're like, can you take care of this? <laughs> I need something that is like moss or like self-sufficient in a way. Okay, continuing on with the bookshelf, we have this really cool fish light. And what's the name of your friend? Oh, I love that. But I kind of want the fish. I'm gonna copy you. <laughs> Such a unique lamp. Um, and then couch, Facebook Marketplace. I'm just guessing. Oh. The one big purchase. It's such a good. Oh, it's it's so good. And then uh, Benji is a supporter. I saw. They're so cute. This one. This fits perfectly in your house. This brown. Obviously, these windows are insane. I can't believe you have floor to ceiling windows. I feel like that's the most rare thing to come by. And then this is a Eames, isn't this? It's Oh, Modernica. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. And uh, I did ask him where his TV, where do they watch TV? And it's in this back guest room area that we'll get to once the light is better. But yeah, 
And then this tree is so good. And I love how you have all these like things hanging from it. Wait, I have this exact wind chime. This one. Maybe the okay store. My, my, it was a gift from someone, but I never knew what to do with it, but maybe I should hang it on a tree. <laughs> Observing and admiring this entire room. And I really love it. And then this giant rug is from Kayo, right? You said Kayo, which is kind of like a Facebook marketplace type deal. And uh, it's just good colors and they clean it for you, he said. So you could check out Kayo. But I really like all your colors in here, like wood and cream and greens. And it's just, it goes well with your plants because you are Benji plant. <laughs> All right, this, let's go over to this area now. Over here is um, Benji's office that he says he doesn't really use. <laughs> the room is long, so it's kind of like, do you make this one big great room or do you divide it up? So I do, if he used this office space, I would suggest keeping it, but he was saying, like if we have suggestions, <laughs> what to do. And I was saying, I was saying like he should put like a giant chair right here, maybe another one with like a little ottoman and create a nice little sitting area. Not that it necessarily needs to connect with this one, but having it just be separate because this is kind of like a long and skinny room. But I do think the office looks nice. These shelves came with the place and I kind of like that they're white so that they just blend in. Anywho, what are your suggestions? What should he paint? What should he do? <laughs> Cause I do think like you don't, you, you don't want to get rid of this. So yeah, I don't think I can. no, I like it. I mean, the more shelves, the better. Why not? Um, but I like how he has a little art light that I wait. It's a grow light. Oh, it's a grow light. I love this art piece too. Wait, it's the, kind of the same one that you have. That's a, no, no, that I used this in a video from, is this from first dibs? I, the video called how to decorate your boring gray apartment. I use oh, this as an example, like as an example piece of art. Cool. This, you something from him too. Do I? Yeah, Who is like this? Oh yeah, yeah, that one that's in my artist. bedroom now. Yeah. That's the same artist? Mm -hmm. Wow, I know nothing. Well, I don't really know much. Was, was it expensive? 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 No, this was like 200. I'm pretty sure the first Dibs ones was so expensive. Yeah. Anywho, can you, it's like, can they even see this? This is such a good piece of art. The colors are so good and the matting. Did the matting come like that? That's, that's one of the reasons why I got it too. The colors were in the red. Oh, frame the, back. the red, it, the red, like little matting with the brown. This is just a good piece of art. Wow. All right. Well, now let's go, let's go upstairs because the upstairs is really good. And then I guess we'll show some of the little rooms and then outside. Yeah. All right, cool. And he was actually not supposed to live in this house. He was supposed to live in the neighbor's house and it burnt down. So that's a story. I'll tell you guys when we get. Yeah, yeah, he'll tell us the story when we get outside. But there is like a full lot that just like used to have a house yeah. in it. So, and maybe I'll move in to the new one. This house only gets better because the upstairs is like a little tree house. The ceiling is really short, which I actually really love. And then it just opens out onto a deck. And it's, you know, it's a little smaller up here, but it's the perfect size because he lives with his boyfriend and the downstairs is so big. I like a small bedroom, so it doesn't matter to me. Also, it has like a lot of built-ins and the closet is like a wraparound closet, which is just unfair. The architecture and the style up here is, is uh, 
Again, making me want to, <laughs> to move. <laughs> it's upsetting. This curtain is one of my favorite features in this room because it's just kind of like this Korean style sheet. He got it off Etsy and I really love the simplicity of it instead of having actual curtains, just throwing up a little sheet. It actually is supposed to go this way, vertical, but he hung it horizontally. He just used a track curtain from Ikea and little hooks. And I think that like simple look is just so nice. I don't think he needed, you know, heavy curtains in here because it's just a very simple little space. I have to admit that a little area like this does make me question if I uh, want more plants. I mean, I have like a plant, so I want Benji to help me with my plants because I, uh, I just need ones that I can take care of. But anyways, a lot of these are little like unique plants that you very rarely see. And I think a lot of these are, are I know the planters are from Japan, but the, are the plants? The plants are inspired by Japanese decor, plant, planters, <laughs> yeah. people, people, who plant. people who plant in Japan. I see it, but like this is totally the type of style I would want, like something like really unique like this mm -hmm. where, and then this just like, did you just here, explain your trellis? Okay, so <laughs> I put the trellis up and I cut it to the size of the curtain and I put nails on the corners of the window wow and then i tied the trellis and then i wrapped e vines around it and this is such a unique idea it's almost like a little curtain mm -hmm. yeah, once well once it comes that. in mm -hmm. wow i love this little space and i think it's a great area that to like put a bunch of plants yeah you know because what else area with, like, a bunch of right and it gets good light mm -hmm. and i did ask him i was like how do you water all of this and he says he just takes it right out onto the deck but see, for me, I'd be too lazy to do that. Beds are very tricky, I think. I don't know, I think the brown is nice. I think this like whole area um, gets so much light that you could do a darker bedspread. I think this is great. And it has a little brick wall and he put a cool plant. And so he did say it kind of smushes it because the closet starts right there. But you can't have everything, Benji, all right? Okay, before I show you the closet, which is pretty cool, I'm gonna take you outside because um, he just has a private deck. It's like, what? Why, how? Oh my God, the mosquitoes are insane right now. Hello, but say hello. <laughs> but now it's not as bad, so Hi. I come in here in the morning. Yeah, yeah, get some good fresh air. <laughs> so cute. Well, anyways, the fact that you even have I want him to stay with me. How does he like to be held? There. Um, the fact that you even have a deck off of your bedroom is pretty, pretty wild. Wait, are you are you from Los Angeles? No, I'm from this town called Bakersfield. Oh, I've been to Bakersfield, actually. What did you do there? I when I my uh, ex boyfriend was a chemical engineer, so he would go up and do like, oil. yeah, like oil yeah. shit. I don't know. So I actually spent like a few weekends up there, oh, wow. and I like. Thrifted. I went to an antique store. What's that? There's like a bar that's like, like you can like oh, dance uh, and then there's like levels kind of, or like a balcony. Buck Owens? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. yeah. Crystal Palace. Went there for Valentine's Day dinner. Now we're broken up, so. <laughs> yeah, don't go to Bakersfield. Yeah. I personally love this bathroom. This like curved wood piece. I don't know. Whoever designed this place really paid attention to the details and just. I don't know, it must have just been like a cool architect because this is really cool. This is an interesting textured wallpaper. I love like the little shelves. He has a fun little mirror. Oh, this is built in. And then Benji had this made, which is um, so smart because it covers, you know, bathroom stuff. And I really like your fabric choice. This is a massive closet and they're very organized. We cleaned it for you. <laughs> they cleaned it for me, sure. I mean, you're, I can tell you're organized just throughout your house, but yeah, this is such a, this is so cool that you have this, a good like wrap around closet, wood hangers, very aesthetic. 
<laughs> and here is the, I look so like, like this is, he added these curtains in, which I think are perfect to kind of cover up the closet. And where did you say these were from? Etsy. Oh, Etsy. We love Etsy over here. Um, and yeah, it's a little tight, but it looks so good. And he hasn't even lived here. Oh, come here. He's, come here. He's the yeah, yeah, it's so funny. Come here. Come here. He yes, he's so cute. Um, they haven't even lived here a year, and I feel like you've gotten so much done. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like why I, like my home updates, I was like, this is going to encourage me to like get shit done. The outdoor area here is pretty incredible. It's huge. It's like its own uh, community, but it's just you and then your neighbor, which is sweet. And then the burn house, which we'll show. But this is like his little actual outdoor spot where he added in this little table. Where'd you get this table? Facebook Marketplace. It's an old Ikea. I love it. I love a table, especially for outside that you don't really have to take care of. <laughs> yeah, don't cover it. Same with these chairs are really cool. And this is cool up here too. It's like, what do you do? What do you, what do you do with this space? I guess it's just kind of a lookout, like a cute area. It's kind of crazy how big this space is back here. <laughs> oh, are they in the, pro they're getting a, oh. The cinder blocks. Okay, so this is his original home. <laughs> this is crazy. I guess these things do make it through fires, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so how how did this fire happen? Okay. Tell, tell us the story. So my boyfriend Chris and I, we were supposed to move into this place, I think around April or March. We were holding your puppy. Um, and everything was good to go. And then I went to Vietnam and then I got a call on our move-in day from my landlord saying like, hey, your house is gone, like it burned down. And <laughs> that was so just sad. so, it was crazy. I was like, I don't know if this is a weird joke or what, but yeah, so we were supposed to move in here and, and on the day that we were supposed to move in, it burned down. That's so um, wild. So my landlord, she's super nice and she offered the bigger house that's that we're currently living in um, at the same price as the smaller house. So. That's kind of how we got hooked up with the big house. <laughs> and that's why you get to live in this cool mm -hmm. home for a decent, a very nice price. We didn't have to compete with anyone either. So it was just, yeah. just us. I mean, so. that's just the universe being like, here, Benji. Crazy. This is wild. Um, all right. Let's go end. Let's, uh, let's end it somewhere more aesthetic than... The, the burnt house lot. <laughs> Benji has taught me everything I need to know about um, a microphone, basically. I hope it turns out good. It's going like, to. Okay. It's going to be better than anything I've, <laughs> I've ever had, even if it's just mediocre. But this was great. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, um, I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, yeah. People are going to freak out about this place. I mean, I'm freaking out. And I'm like, did I capture it well enough to show how cool of a space this is? Because this yeah. is... Like, I'm like, Benji, you can't move. You cannot move. I know. But yeah, that's it. Check out this fucking home. Go follow Benji Plant. Mm -hmm. Do you ever say your actual last name? No. no. But, his last name is Plant. Yes. Benji Plant. <laughs> <laughs> I'll link his stuff down below. And uh, yeah, he has great taste. And he knows plants. And he knows yeah. things. So follow me for plant stuff and interior stuff and personality and for fun and like a relaxing a good relaxing video yeah i do those sometimes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes um and if you want to see his little dog and his house so theo has an instagram too oh yeah follow theo theo.wawa theo.wawa if you love dogs dogs plants interiors and and benji <laughs> okay uh that's it uh goodbye